And now to the price of paradise. We all know the cost of living is high on the Central Coast. KSBY News is working with you throughout 2020 to help navigate that challenge. But the situation gets worse when you add the cost of child care on top of the cost of housing. KSBY's Michael Torres takes a look deeper into the issue. Like this one. Melissa Phipps and her family yeah. moved to the Central Coast six Thank months you. ago. Soon after settling into their new home in San Luis Obispo, yeah. Melissa says it was time to get back to work. But that plan came to a sudden halt when she couldn't find childcare for her 18-month-old daughter, Myla. I just ran into a problem. I would call different uh, daycares, different childcare facilities in the area, and everyone waitlisted me. Phipps spent months researching and calling daycare centers and child care providers, but no one had room for her daughter. I feel like I've just hit a wall. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to do. And shoes. Now a stay-at-home mom, her career shoes. is on hold. Phipps is still looking for the answer to the child care yeah, crisis, and she's not alone. I would say it's always been a struggle. The problem is getting more significant. Rachelle Bolay and Wendy Went are both looking at child care in San Luis Obispo County. What's working and what's not. When they crunch the numbers, it's shocking. Median income family is spending more on child care than on housing. The problem comes down to supply and demand. Slope County has the capacity to serve almost 7,500 children in licensed child care slots. That's estimated to meet only about 30% of the projected needs in the county. They either can't find it at all because, because the supply is shrinking, or they can find it but it's too expensive. The problem is getting worse with a dwindling number of providers in Slow County. In 2016, there were 265 family child care provider homes. Two years later, there were only 218. That's a drop of nearly 18%. A big reason is pay. Wages for child care workers in the county hovers around $12.37 per hour, only slightly above minimum wage. The lack of child care workers is driving up the cost. According to the California Child Care Resource and Referral Network, the average annual cost for a baby in a licensed center in Slow County is $14,181 a year. A year of tuition at a UC school is less. Bottle? The weather, small town vibe, and beaches made a move to San Luis Obispo an easy decision for Phipps and her family. But she wishes she had known about the child care challenges ahead of time. We had different options available, and we chose this for many reasons, but it certainly would have impacted our choice to come here if we would have known it would have been this difficult. As state, county, and city agencies work to find solutions to the child care problem, start? Guys. Phipps hopes relief will come soon. At this point, I've just given up, and I think, um, you know, I've accepted that this is how it's going to be right now. <coughs> and then if I get that phone call, it would be a welcome surprise. And the San Luis Obispo County Board of Supervisors recently approved a $20,000 study aimed at increasing quality and affordability of child care.